Hello Pisces, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And this is the card here. It's an oak tree with hearts. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Now oak trees are, take years. You know, they're wise. They take years. They're strong. So think of all these things. You've got plenty of time. Now, this here is about reaching your goal. Tens are abundance. So there is prosperity and abundance ahead. There's support networks from family, friends. There's prosperity in every area of your life that could come in here. So you could be meeting new people. You could be gaining new family members here. Um, but this is a time to be enjoying the people round about you, not worrying about things and trying too hard. So let's see what the guidance is please in relation to this message if this starts to resonate please like share and subscribe the three of wands the king of pentacles the moon card the two of cups the overall central energy is the six of wands the beautiful temperance card, which is Sagittarius energy, so that might be relevant for some of you there. The Ace of Wands. The Nine of Cups. And the Knight of Swords. Now, I feel here that this is a new relationship. If we look at this here, what's happened here is your ships have came in. Your ships have came in. There's this new person coming into your life. If they're not here, they will be. But I feel for a lot of you, there is a new relationship. Now, this here is a soulmate type relationship. So it's a good match. It's people that are on the same page. They're seeing things the same way. They have the same ethics, morals, the same expectations. And they're a mirror image of you. So this is a perfect match in that sense. Not, there's not such a thing as a perfect relationship. But it's near as the, near, the person is near as you to you as you could possibly imagine. So, you know, your ships have come in here. There's growth. There's great things that can happen. It's exciting. It's new. What more could you ask for? But what you're doing here is you're, you don't, you've got to, you know, take your time here. You might have a fear because this is a good relationship about the future. You, you don't see how this is going to pan out and that could make you anxious. It could be making your, you could be making yourself too available. You could be doing all the running. Just let it go. Just let it unfold. Take your time. Give it time to progress. Give the relationship time to grow here. We don't always know what has to happen a month from now. But because this is such a good relationship, this is almost somebody that is like a friend as well as a lover here. It's somebody that relates to you and you relate to, you relate to them. So don't worry about this. Don't get all up in your head about it. Just relax. Take as it comes. We can always see the future. There could be a fear-based um, side to this as well because it could almost feel like too good to be true. And if I don't pitch up and I don't make too, you know, I don't do A, B and C, this person might not stay around. But that's not the case. That's not the case. So you're trying too hard here. Don't try too hard. Just let it unfold naturally and give this relationship time to prosper. Let it grow naturally. Because as you go forward, you're going to see the beauty in the relationship. Your fears are going to start to disappear here. Uh, there's going to be, um, I think there's good communication here. I think for some of you as well, I think there might even be a, right, okay, that there's a conversation that could take place with you and this person's friend or family where they say something like, you know, you're really good for them. I'm glad they met you. It's that kind of energy I'm feeling. So there's information coming forward here that's going to show you clearly that you're in the right place. And don't panic about this. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy could be relevant there. So, you know, you're going to overcome things in life. Your ships have come in. This is your soulmate relationship that you've waited for. You're going to overcome the challenges. And there's going to be growth. This relationship is going to grow. There's going to be success. And like I said here, I do feel as if people will be looking at you as a couple and respecting you and admiring you for how well you fit. How well you look together, how well you fit together. I think there's other people that are going to be pleased that this is a union that's came about. People that are close to the other person or even people that are close to you. So don't be worrying about this. 
don't be putting too much pressure on yourself, feeling that you have to be doing everything and being perfect all the time and saying yes all the time. And this kind of panic mode that people can go into because they think who they've met, this is too good to be true. You know, is this really happening? Yes, it is. And the two of you together will build beautiful, happy, harmonious things together. Now, your anxieties about this, your worries about this, your fears will disappear and you will start to settle down through time and see the beauty in the relationship. So you're going to feel at one with yourself and this person, definitely. Now, this takes patience. This is a major arcana card and there's patience attached to this type of uh, harmony that you're feeling. You're going to work through things. You'll balance things out. You're a good match here. Good match. You'll resolve issues together. You'll be able to, you know, work together and feel and get through things. And there is going to be a lot of contentment in the future. A lot of contentment and happiness is going to come in here. Because what you've got here is you've got people who are prepared to commit to a relationship that are stable. Now, this person could be... Um, a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy, but they're very stable. They've achieved things in their life. Uh, even if they haven't, they're on the right road to achieving, depending on what age you are. But this person commits themselves to things. And through long-term investment and hard work, you're going to see that you're going to be able to create a lot of stability together for your future. Um, this, could, this relationship will progress through time. So we don't have to be panicking. We don't have to be doing everything now. We don't have to be trying too hard. Just try to relax here. Go with the flow and enjoy things, getting to know each other, enjoying each other's company. And through time, you know, when the hiccups do come, because there's not a honeymoon period forever, relationships can be challenging, you will resolve these issues together. You will be respected because there's a lot of contentment and happiness, like I say, coming in. Now, we'll just have a look here. Yeah. It's about strength. Now, Leo energy could be relevant here. It's about being strong and having courage. Like I say, you know, you, you've come this far in life. Don't panic. You've got the strength. You've got the what it takes here for this relationship. So stay confident. Stay confident. Don't start to fear this, that you're going to lose a grip of this person or this relationship could fear. It, you know, it'll stand the test of time if you let it unfold naturally. So, you know, don't have a fear factor here. This is karmic justice. What you put into things, you get out of it. Don't be overdoing it. Don't be coming on too strong. This is a match. This is fairness. This is about fair and just outcomes. This is a soulmate type energy. The universe has brought this person to you. You deserve it at this time. Your disappointments, I beg your pardon, your disappointments and mental anxieties are over. That phase of your life is over. So let it go. This is you being strong now. It's about making intelligent, disciplined decisions about your future. You can see the future you want possibly here. There's nothing wrong with sharing it when the time's right. And the two of you together, if you focus on this relationship, it will grow. It, you'll put the work in. Don't be distracted by everything else. It's about focus. It's about taking your time and getting to know each other. Because this is a path of growth. It's the start of something new. It's what you've manifested and it's what you've wanted. So take time out, think about this, how you're going to approach this, definitely. Uh, you will become enlightened. You'll start to see, you know, there's a fear aspect to this. Just take your time. You've got the answers. I think there's a panic here about, um, just let me connect. There's a panic here about making a mistake. You know, what if I get it wrong? What if I say the wrong thing? It's all that type of energy. You're wise enough. You've been through enough. You're wise enough. You've got the answers here. You will find the compromises that's needed, most definitely. And your anxieties will lessen when you start to realise that you've got this middle ground with this person, definitely. Tower moments, that's what you've been through. And this is why you're feeling this way. But you've healed now. This is a healing type relationship. You've healed from the past. Don't panic about this relationship because of what's went on in the past. I'll let that go. Because there's a lot of happiness. This is a genuine person, mature person that's loving and caring that you can relate to. Okay, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.